public opinion was uh, expressed very forcefully in the streets of Toronto at the time of the uh, 1885 Riel Rebellion in the Northwest. Uh, Torontonians were thrilled to think that uh, uh, they would be able to send some of the volunteer militia boys uh, from the city of Toronto to the Northwest to suppress Riel and his troublemakers who had, uh, were a threat to law and order. Uh, and uh, uh, as soon as it was announced by Macdonald, Sir John A. Macdonald at Ottawa, that uh, there would be a military force sent from uh, central Canada to the Northwest uh, to suppress the rebellion, why people came out into the streets of Toronto in huge numbers uh, to uh, uh, celebrate that uh, thought. And as soon as the uh, militia men were, were, uh, began to rally uh, and, uh, in, in the streets, why they were the object of great adulation by the public. Uh, people said, these are going to be the heroes of uh, this conflict and we'll show Riel and those half-breeds in the Northwest uh, uh, the, uh, our power. And uh, so they came out in massive numbers by the tens of thousands uh, uh, in quite spontaneously because the military force had to be organized uh, on the fly very quickly. Uh, and so this was not so much a kind of top-down imposition of, of uh, street behavior. It seemed to come up from the public and it was certainly encouraged by the newspapers of the day that really got behind uh, this idea of our boys uh, going to the Northwest to suppress the rebellion. Didn't matter whether they were liberal papers or uh, conservative newspapers, whether they thought the government had made a mistake or not in the connection with North, the Northwest. They said there's trouble out there now, uh, the trouble has to be put down and our boys are going to do it. We have boys who are courageous, who are well trained, who have military discipline from their Sunday outings uh, and uh, they're going to show Riel, what's what. When the troops left Toronto, uh, again, uh, they traveled by train to the northwest. This was when the Canadian Pacific Railway, the CPR, was nearly finished and it was able to uh, uh, carry the troops to the northwest from central Canada. Um, why, when the, the, the troop trains left um, the station here in Toronto, uh, tens of thousands of people came out to cheer them. Uh, all of this was repeated uh, upon their return uh, when there was more time to prepare to welcome the heroes home from their triumph. And again, in the streets, elaborate arches were built to welcome these uh, triumphal troops home. Uh, this arch building goes way back to Roman times when arches were built uh, uh, to, 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 uh, to bring the conquered uh, into uh, Rome. Uh, so this is a long tradition that was readily picked up by the people in Victorian Toronto. Uh, and they came out again in huge numbers in the streets. Uh, um, tens of thousands of people came in from the countryside uh, for, uh, to welcome the troops home. Of course, there were speeches by notables that spoke very patriotically about the heroism of the time. There were many religious leaders, clerics, who, who gave sermons of, of thanksgiving for the way in which our troops had been brought home. Uh, um, there were also, though, uh, during this time, some tragic moments uh, and public funerals around uh, uh, those who fell, and uh, at least on the uh, side of the volunteers and uh, authority, people ignored those who fell on the Métis side, of course. Uh, Two local boys from Toronto had uh, massive funerals where, again, people came out spontaneously on a very solemn occasion and uh, organizations lined the streets, the various voluntary associations, and the funeral orations were carefully printed in the newspapers. Uh, uh, you know, th this, these were a, a great loss. Uh, 
And there was also uh, at Port Hope outside Toronto, uh, one, of, one of the military officers who had fallen was brought home. And, and buried there. And uh, huge numbers, uh, again, came to Port Hope for that occasion. Uh, you know, these were, this was a time when you really felt you had to show um, your support for uh, the country uh, uh, and for this kind of endeavor. And, and really quite conservative values seemed to bubble up from below. I like to think the people were uh, 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 challenged authority, and, and they often did, but on these occasions you really see um, a respect for authority coming through in a, in a very emphatic way.